So our tower walls look much better now, much more symmetric, easier to work with. Hard to explain why now, but just take my word on that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start working on the roof. Conveniently, we already have a piece that's suitable for that. It basically fills up the hole inside of the tower. And I'm going to move that up to the top where the roof should be. And the way I'm going to use that is using the translate tool. You always know if you're using the translate tool because you got some arrows sticking out of your selection roughly in the middle. Um, so what this allows you to do is to restrict the movement of your piece along one specific grid axis. Um, so in this particular instance, I'm going to drag it along the Z axis. This is a Z axis right here, and if I click anywhere along the Z axis or even close to it, you see it selected the Z axis, and I can only move it up and down the Z axis. If I move over here, nothing, 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 nothing. It's only up and down. I click on the X axis, only left and right, no up and down, no, no. Alright, so it, it makes it really easy if, you, if you're trying to restrict your, your movement along a, a one particular grid line. So I'm going to move this up to the top. I'm going to move this all the way to the very top. The bottom of my roof is going to intersect with the top of the tower. You'll see why in a moment. Now I actually want this uh, the roof to be about 16 to 24 units thick. So I'm going to go back to my resize tool. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Let's see, there we go, 24 units. That looks about right. And now what we need to do is once again bust out the clipper tool and we're going to start chopping up vertices again all the way across. The only saving grace about this is that it's already grid aligned. Jeez. It's already grid aligned and we can do two at a time. So I can come down here, choose the exact symmetrically opposite piece. It'll end up going directly through the center of the brush very conveniently. So you can see it right through the origin. And all of the pieces are going to do that. We have a very symmetric tower. So I'm, I'm not going to deselect anything. I'm just going to cut this up into big pie pieces. Pie pieces. So I'm going to keep all pieces selected at all times. Continue to go through this. And we're going to chop the whole thing up into a big pie. But once again, you don't need to sit here and watch through all that. So now that we've got our roof all cut up, we're going to go ahead and uh, raise the roof, so to speak. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, vertex mode, hit the B key, hold shift, drag to select, select everything in the center for all of our brushes. And we're going to get into translate mode, with W key, and we are going to drag up on the Z axis and make it look like a nice tower roof. Not too steep, not too shallow. Boop. Boop. Right about there. And this is about as good a time as any to go ahead and texture it. So, drag and escape, escape. And with all of our brushes selected, the M key to get to the media bar, go to textures, dark mod where most of your useful textures are found. We go to the roof. And in this particular case, we'll go with Slate Crack Large Gray Blue. Right click, apply to selection, and there we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that. All right, that looks pretty good. So the last thing to do here is to get this upper edge in our roof piece. Notice this is sticking straight up from the inner wall, and we don't want that sticking straight up, we want it sticking straight out. So what we need to do is expand everything from the origin outwards, and then drag it all down. So <clears throat> to get this cleanly and smoothly flush and yet expanded outwards, we're going to use the exact same tool that we did before when making our walls. And we're going to use the rotate scale slash 
arbitrary transformation tool. But this time, instead of having the entire brush selected with all vertices, we're going to use a choice selection of vertices. We're going to use just the ones that we want. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce that to 1% at a time. And we're going to go ahead and expand that, say, 6 to 8 units, maybe, from the outside wall outwards. Five sounds about good. Let's close that. Close our media bar. And then we'll go ahead and drag that down five units. Oh, not five units. More than five units. Yeah, now we got a pretty damn good looking tower there. Look at that. All nice and pointy and textured and hollow. Okay. So the last point of interest here is just the very tip of this roof. Um, there are a lot of brushes here to end in a lot of very small points all stuck together very closely at sharp angles and a lot of times what will happen when you leave brushes like this is they will optimize out when you demap them. You'll just see big black portions in your brushes where you would expect to see textures. So the best way to avoid that is to keep your walls mostly you know eight units thick which we managed to do here We'll take a look. These walls have a nice thickness to them, but they still end up in this, you know, really sharp point here. So, uh, the way I fix that is to use the method I like to call capping. And we're going to go ahead and grab out our clipper tool. Let me get in here and we're going to clip maybe eight, twelve units below the the lower tip here. We'll just cut it across. We can just cut off the whole thing there. And now we've got a nice little hole. And I guess I can just go ahead and texture that. So that still needs to get plugged up. So what we'll do is we're just going to drag out a brush all the way so that it covers the entire hole. You need to go that far. And now I'll introduce you to the concept of layers. Because what we're going to do here is going to create a whole big shit mess. And we're going to want to get rid of it immediately without worrying about little quarter inch size splinters of things that we have to click on repeatedly to get rid of. So to get to the layers, you hit Control L by default, and you've got this list of layers. We want to make a new one because default has everything. We don't want everything; we just want one thing. So we hit New. We'll call it Trash because we're going to delete it. And now, with our trash brush selected, oh, and I don't think I got the, uh, the height set here quite correctly. I want this to be. Eight units thick. It'll be an eight thick, eight unit thick little brush here that plugs up, caps up the, uh, the top of our roof. So with that selected, we're going to right click anywhere in any of our ortho views, and there's a nice little option down here to add to layer, and we'll select the trash layer. There we go. So with all of our roof brushes selected, no. We're going to use CSG subtract, and what that's going to do is delete everything that is not intersecting with our roof pieces. So that's going to include 
the interior portion here and the exterior portion here. The exterior portion is going to look like crap. So, use the CSG subtract button. Go ahead and unselect everything. Now, when I use the trash button here in the layer, everything in the layer gets selected. But this is the piece we want to save, so I'm going to hide it, reselect everything in the layer, hit the delete key, it's all gone, shift H to unhide, shift H to unhide. What? Did I do something wrong here? Okay, maybe you can't use the hide to do that. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so we'll select trash, unselect the one in the middle, delete, and then we can trash this layer, don't need it no more. And we're left with our cap. 